something again. Tonight I'm tying a, a very simple bait fish, fish mash bait fish. Really easy, anybody can tie it. Um, dead quick as well. I'm just, I'm actually just filling up my offshore box, topping it up. Um, and these are, I mean, super quick, super easy. There's only like four materials if you don't count the thread and the hook. So I'm starting off with a Gamma Katsu. Uh, S11S uh, 3H size 1 odd, and I'm just going to run on some citrus thread. Um, obviously, you would just change the colour uh, depending depending on the colour of fly. Like you could tie them sort of wee anchovy colour scheme, just sort of white and tan. Um, can also change the size. There's a bigger, it's about six inches and a four on it. You know, you just change the size and colour to suit where you're fishing. Um, I'm going out on Monday for in the hopes of you know maybe some some yellowfin tuna or uh, probably more reliably some mahi mahi and skipjack but we'll see so I'm knocking up a few wee chartreuse my nose to go in there just in case now it's um the the so you only need a short a short base of thread you don't need to cover the shank if you don't want to um I generally run it back a wee bit just for just to give me a kind of bed with plenty, there's plenty of grip. So, if you're tying one colour, you just need a single bunch um, of SF blend. This is a bit thick actually. Uh, depending on the size of fly, you'll sort of gauge how thick or thin you want it. That's better. So, I'm just going to, because I'm just tying these in like a straight shirtless colour, I'm just going to cut this in half. And then the cut end, I'm just going to sort of tease it so it's different lengths. Give it a wee kind of roll of my fingers to get the fibres lined up a bit better. And then offer it to the hook, so I set the length. And I'm just going to encourage it around the shank with my fingers on this first bunch. Now if you were tying like the white or, the white and tan or a, a blue and white or something, like those other ones I showed you, this would be your belly colour. So you, I like to have this sort of tied in the round. Um for a couple of reasons, not least because tying it in the round helps prevent fouling. You know, if it's, it's, it's less likely to foul if it's hiding around. Just get that wee push up, see how it sits. And you can see because you've pre tapered it, I mean, it's, it's nearly. Just get that wee snap there. You know, you'll hardly, need to, you'll hardly need to do anything to this once you finish your tying. Then you can get your second bunch. Just do the other half basically and just do the the same. Again, obviously if you were um tying it in two colours this would be your back. So try and keep this sort of on the top of the shank. Let's see the sun's going under there, but I don't really need to worry because it's obviously just the same colour. And then just the same, fold it back, make sure everything that's going forward is pulled back, 
in a couple of tight turns just to hold it. And you could stop there um, and just put the mask on. Okay, just sort of tidy that up a wee bit. So the, the SF blend, I mean, it gives you a nice sort of a fair bit of volume with very little bulk. Um, and I'm just going to stick some a, later, a line of lateral scale. Uh, This. So I'll just take a single length and at the length of the body, just hold it quite tight. Make sure it's sitting just just along the side like you need it. Turn the fly, I'll turn the vice, same again. Sometimes um, the lateral scale will sort of fight you, it doesn't really want to lie just smooth, straight, but just hold it and a couple of tight wraps, just check it. If it doesn't sit the way you like, you can always go back and tidy that up. Which I'm away there, excess. So, the fly is essentially tied. Grab my loon, it's in the drawer, put it away from the sunlight. So at this stage, I don't even bother about finishing this fly, I just uh, get a wee dab of loon, zap it, cut the thread. Right, that's it. So the, the the head of this fly is just a fish, fish mask. Right, and now you can see I've already stuck the eyes onto this one. Now I'm just using uh, it's a clear cure goo eyes and agate. Uh, I quite like that colour. I think it looks quite nice on the the fly. I always I stick the eyes on before uh <coughs> before I put the mask on. Um. So I'm just filling the eye, the mask, the back of the mask with some loon, or wh whichever UV resin you like, and I'm putting a blob on here as well. And it's just a case of getting it on, making sure it's straight. Check it. Check it twice before you zap it. And then I like to just fill it any space that's been missed. Just come in with your UV resin. in there. That looks okay in the bottom. And hit it with the light again. Just You might want to hold it for a wee bit longer because you're zapping it through the mask. Uh, just, just to make sure. And that's basically it. Dead, I mean, you couldn't have a simpler fly. Um, Just get that wee, wee tidy up there. A wee bit along the bottom. There you go. And that's it. A fish mask. And for our blend of bait fish. Dead easy, dead simple. Tie some up, catch some fish on them. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you like, don't forget to give us a thumbs up down below. And, uh, Everybody subscribe for more than five minutes. Thanks very much. Bye.